All right, so I'm going to show you how I made this Dutch bucket uh, self-watering system uh, that I used all season and used on every plant um, that I have and even the plants upstairs now. So uh, this is not my original creation. This actually belongs to Kangstar. Um, I watched his video series on it and that's how I made the buckets and I tried sharing it the link but for whatever reason it just I can't I can't get that link to to go through but uh, for those of you who want to see his video uh, just google Kangstar self-watering bucket or something like that and it should eventually pop up I think he made it a few years ago but it's still very relevant um, and I used it so to give you a rundown you need two buckets um, the buckets at Lowe's the buckets at Home Depot or even the buckets at Walmart um, are, are useful. Uh, one thing I didn't find out until a little bit later is if you go to a place like Firehouse Subs or a lot of those Chinese restaurants, um, you can get food grade buckets. They'll resell them to you. Some places are like a dollar a bucket. Others are $2 a bucket, but they're food grade, which means that they, they're going to last a lot, lot longer. Um, so that's going to be something that I start looking into, uh, the next time I make, you know, buckets, but so, but the Lowe's buckets are fine. It's what I used all season. Um, Kangstar uses it. In fact, a lot of people use it. Um, and you can see that if you were to go over to the Pepper community and talk to the folks over there. Um, that's a great community. I highly recommend you participate in it. There's a lot of great people who share knowledge. If you ask a question, a lot of people answer. Um, it's, it's a very useful, very useful uh, community. Um, and Kingstar actually moderates that. But uh, this is just what I did this year. I thought it was simple enough. Um, I wanted to be able to move my plants around. And uh, so I'm glad that I did the bucket system because I had some flooding in my yard earlier in the season. And I had to move all my plants. And if I had planted them in the ground, I would have been screwed. So uh, I'm glad I did this system. So anyway, you, you just need, you know, a drill, a drill bit some PVC pipe, you know, one of these, uh, one of these neck cups, and this is a three inch neck cup and two buckets and that, oh, and I used this. Um, you can use a hole saw if you have some whole um, bits to cut out a hole, uh, you can use that, but, uh, I just used this. So the first thing you need to do is, is take your first bucket. And you're going to drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. And I just drilled a bunch of them. It's, the count doesn't necessarily matter. Every bucket I'm sure I have is different. So um, you drill a bunch of holes. And then there's a little mark that's around the center of, the, of this bucket. And what I had done is I had placed the net cup kind of like that. And I traced what would have been the inner diameter of this net cup and then I just cut it out with this box knife so um, it's as you can see it's not a perfect hole but you know it, it doesn't really matter once you get the weight of soil on there it just pushes down so uh, that's all I did I didn't have any special bits the only bit I had was this so drill a bunch of holes um, mark out the inner diameter and so your net cup will fill in there and then I put, I marked out the diameter of the PVC pipe. The size of your PVC pipe doesn't matter. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. So you just get whatever's really cheap and uh, mark out the diameter. And then again, just cut it out with the box knife. That's what I did. So that marks this bucket. And then what you do is if you take a light and you set it down in the bottom of that bucket, the, the bottom down here and you set this bucket inside you can actually see where the two buckets are far apart um, how far apart they are and you're gonna have about this much of a hole so that that light that's on the inside of the bucket will show you where you need to drill the hole for your outer bucket so this is where I drew my hole or drilled my hole so as you can see there's that much space you know, the length of my index finger, you know, basically. 
Um, I highly suggest you just set a light in there and then put the buckets together and you'll you'll clearly see it will stand out. You'll clearly see where the buckets um, are, are located inside of each other. So and then you just drill your your uh, your bucket there and set your net cup inside. Stuff your PVC pipe down in there. I put in a, a little screw screw just to hold it. Uh, you definitely don't have to do that. It doesn't matter. So you know that's what I did. Um, King Star definitely goes into a little bit more detail on what he did, but uh, uh, he used some um, like a hole saw to create perfect holes in there and stuff. I I didn't do that, but. Um, it's a great system. Um, it really is. I was able to move my, my plants around freely, uh, through my yard. And, uh, you know, during the winter, if you, the, one of the reasons why I decided I was going to do this bucket system is because I was going to try to winterize. And, uh, that was the intent at the beginning of the season. I just never did that. Uh, so what you would do is, you know during the cold season you take your plants you know out from the you know the weather and you place a bag over it or whatnot or however people decide they're, they're you know they recommend it but you need to make sure that you give your plant a little bit of water and that's what this is for so this puts water you know during the cold season you just pour your water directly down in here and it goes to the reservoir that's in the bottom of the bucket and your plant just soaks it up so and that helps to prevent disease too because uh, you don't have you know water sitting on the top of your soil or the top of your soil is you know wet or whatever it is and uh, so that's what I did and uh, I really don't regret it it's a it's a very unique system my neighbor used to always tell me I was fancy <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know how fancy it is and I was using a bunch of buckets well, a lot of guys use pots so I don't know. he just thought the system was fa uh, fancy he's got a He's got a degree in horticulture, and uh, he had never heard of this system. So, but he thought it was really unique and creative. But uh, so that's what I did. Um, so that's really that's really it. This is a five sixteenths bit, but the size of the bit doesn't matter. Um, so you can use a three eighths bit if you want. You don't. You definitely don't want it to be too small because if debris gets in there, it'll get clogged and your bucket won't drain. So, you know, a 3 8 5 16 it doesn't matter. You just don't want too big because you don't want that soil pouring out the bottom of your hole. So you just need your drill bit. You need two buckets, a little bit of PVC pipe or some kind of tubing. Um, and then that net cup, which I got at a, uh, a um, local hydroponic store for like 25 cents a cup or something so and i bought like 35 of these things <laughs> it was really cheap but uh so that's what i did uh, hope you guys appreciated the, the video um and uh if you guys decide to use this i i hope you have success um and uh don't be afraid to check out the uh, pepper community that is a very very good site um i've like i said i've posted on there a bunch of times and uh i i always get i always get answers and there's there's not just one person it's it's a whole series of people um that that tend to reach out and and answer questions and uh there was only one time where their answers were not useful but uh other than that, it's they've been very useful. That that site's been very useful. So I def, I definitely recommend you check them out. So anyway, that is the self-watering Dutch bucket system. Thank you for watching.